values of being kind of a laissez-faire kind of nomenclature like you know like what is a value a value is just a player you like more than someone else then i tried some math and i didn't like it at all so i hit up matt spencer who works over there at rotaviz and does a lot of work and we're going to look at that method and then look at who's who the consensus dlf superflex ranks spit out versus dlf superflex adp for 2022 and so buckle up so I thought what we'd do in this video, not to make it just a long video where a guy makes a graph and talks about making a graph, is actually look at some of the more interesting values that popped up while looking at consensus ADP. Um, the first thing I noticed is that we are, as a group, and my rankings definitely reflect this, taking strong shots above ADP on second year wide receivers who did pretty good in their first year. This is something we've talked about over and over again on the podcast and the channel and on my Twitter account, that sophomore wide receivers who have good rookie seasons, and there are different measures you can apply to what is a good rookie season but for now we'll just leave it there and are like the lifeblood of dynasty with Jalen Waddle, Devontae Smith and Elijah Moore or by consensus significantly higher in our in our rankings than they are in ADP based on different rankers you can see that some are higher and lower but it's one of the reasons it's really hard to be higher on Elijah Moore because anyone who's actually sharp and paying attention really wants to make sure they draft him above everyone else and we're all kind of playing this uh arms race of who's willing to push um elijah moore up the highest right now i think ryan mcdowell's winning because he's got him as like the wide receiver 14 or so on average and it's the same with Devonte smith who's drafted 99th overall in adp and we as a group are drafting him 60th overall and Jalen waddle 44th overall but we as a group are drafting him 23rd overall i do think i'm highest on Jalen waddle though so yay me the second interesting value that uh, popped up is actually one I've, I've changed my rankings to disagree with. As a group, we were 100% taking Josh Allen below Patrick Mahomes, but consensus ADP um, puts uh, Josh Allen as a QB1 and Patrick Mahomes as a QB3. Interestingly, despite talking about this on Twitter, no one really asked who was a QB2, and it's Justin Herbert, by the way. Although there is one interesting ranker who was taking Lamar Jackson as the number one overall. Which... All right, the next thing I want to point out is older wide receivers. Again, older wide receivers do stick out as a group that uh, the consensus rankers are willing to go higher than the consensus ADP. The most notable is Tyree Kill. He's been drafted 45th overall by consensus ADP, and as a group, the rankers are taking him 22nd overall. As a group, none of us are taking him outside the top 12. I think I'm lowest on him. I have as a, as a wide receiver 12. Most have him in that 8 to 10 range. And so, yeah, an older wide receiver, we fully expect to maintain top 12 production or at least have top 12 value next year, perhaps. Um, I'm slightly lower on him than the group, but I'm still significantly higher on him than ADP. But again, you can find a few different examples of this. Older wide receivers that are proven producers tend to fall by consensus ADP a lot more than they fall by consensus rank rankings because we know they keep producing more than the group tends to like all right and just a few quick notes uh, uh the next thing i note um in consensus adp is george kittle uh, almost as a group um we are willing to take about 10 15 spots higher than adp which but it's actually difficult to find significant tight end differences because again superflex and superflex rankers both know that outside the top few tight ends there's not a lot of difference there so we want to take relatively few shots and not even make them that strongly but Evan Ingram sticks out and so does Noah Fant as someone that we are willing to take all right uh, so I guess I'll leave on running backs like what running back value show up um well I told you about this this is one of the first videos I made this off season so I sure hope you paid attention to it Clyde Edwards Hilaire according to the consensus rankers at DLF that all the superflex rankers all seven of us is our highest value at the running back position this year yeah uh david montgomery also shows up after that and also like lower level players like miles gaskin and um, who's been taken like barely taken at all 229th is his adp which means he doesn't really have an adp that's as low as dlf adp tends to go um and as a group we're willing to take him right in the 170s it's a throwaway late round pick but we still think he might start some games and has some value and so he shows up as one of the players we're willing to do um all right uh, let me know what you think check out the patreon article article article
yeah article or check out the dlf article when it drops to see more and also uh, to go to the sheet because i actually made the sheet and put a link in in the article so that you can do your own rankings or dig down deeper into the dynasty superflex rankings at dlf to see who we like and who we don't like and maybe i miss someone um and yeah li like and subscribe if you don't mind if you want to whatever uh really appreciate it and i'll talk to you again in the next one thanks bye